geçmiş ümmetlere benzemeyelim. Bilmediğimiz bir konuda ihtilafa düşersek onu çözmek için Allah'ın kitabına ve Resulullah sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem'in sünnetine başvuralım. Kurtuluşumuzun ancak bu şekilde olacağını asla unutmayalım. Şu ayet-i kerimenin anlamını derin derin düşünelim. Peygamberin emrine aykırı davranılan başlarına bir bela gelmesinden veya kendilerine çok önemli bir azap isabet etmesinden sakınsınlar. Buna göre Hz. Peygamber'in sünnetine taban tabana zıt olan bid'at ve hurafeler zarardan korunma bir yana bela ve musibetlere bizzat sebep olmaktadır. My dear brothers, regarding the terminology bid'a means things that do not exist in the basis of the religion or are not based on the legal proofs and are invented contrary to the sunnah. In another words, it is behavior, deed and condition which appear after the religious orders were completed. Completely contrary to the clear decree of the Quran and sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad a.s. In that case, dear Muhammad, if you want to excel in this life, and the hereafter. We need to steer clear of deviation and superstitions. We should not be tricked into think, thinking that what can we do? These are our customs and traditions. There is no harm in them. We don't want to resemble past nations who have filled their belief systems with deviations, deviations and superstitions. If we are uncertain about a certain matter, we must look for the answer in the Quran and the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We must not forget that this is our way to salvation. It is evident that the variations and superstitions are inconsistent with the teachings of our Prophet alaihi wasallam. They do not provide protection from harm, but rather. They are the reasons for calamity and strife. I would like to conclude my putback with the following ayah. This day I have perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and have chosen for you Islam as your religion. Allah inna hasana kelam wa ablaga mizam. Kelam Allahi al-Malik al-Aziz al-Azam wa qala Allahu tabarak wa ta'ala fi kelam wa ida kuli al-Quran fastamiyu la wa ansitu la ala kuntu amun in al-Din عند الله الإسلام. الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله حمد الكابلين كما نص تعظيما لنبيه وتكريما لفقامة شان شرف الصفية فقال عز وجل من قائل مخبرا وآمرا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما لبيك اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين وأيد كلمة الحق والدين اللهم إسلام ومسلمان على يارد ميدا بزي وطن مزر بلاد مزر هر كل تهلك دن محافظة إلى Bizlere bu dünyada iyilik ve güzellikler nasip ettiğin gibi ahirette de iyilik ve güzellikler nasip eyle. Bizleri anne babalarımızı ve bütün müminleri bağışla. Şüphesiz sen her şeyi duyan duaları kabul edersin. Amin. İbadallah, mütekullah ve ahirullah. İnna Allah'a ya'muru bil adli ve ihsani ve itai zil qurba ve yenha. وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون. أكمش أولم آية كريمة ربي مسمع عليهم شو اللي بيقول؟ مقاب الله إيلي عدالتي أقربايا بقماي أمرده. كتلوه سناله هر تلو أصغنه سبطله فوشي يسقله. Düşünüp tutasınız diye size, bize, bütün insanlara bu şekilde...